Hey guys and welcome to Relationship Alchemy. Um, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, please remember to like, share and subscribe um, so that we can push this series on further. This is just the first introductory video and if you've clicked on the video, um, I'm guessing you want to know the magic of relationships and why they have such a huge effect on us. I have mentioned in my previous videos about relationships being a spiritual catalyst for us. And why is that? Um, well, as humans, we are social beings. We've lived in tribes and um, groups from the very beginning. And as I mentioned in the video about depression, in most Western countries, we're mainly in separation, which leads us to feel this loneliness, this disconnect. And that's usually where we see the most sadness. In a spiritual sense, people are our mirrors, okay? People we meet, our soulmates are our mirrors. They show us what's missing in us or, you know, lacking in us. A lot of people don't actually want to see <laughs> their mirror. And that's where we have a lot of people projecting onto other people. So you guys know I'm a proud Scorpio. I don't know a Scorpio that isn't proud, right? So in 2020, I've decided to push this accountability um, being accountable for our own actions, our own part in relationships or relationships break down because really I'm getting tired of people saying, you know, oh, it's that person and this person. And we all do have our own journey. And some of us aren't very nice on the journey. We are not always nice. I am not always nice. I know this. I'm accountable for my own actions and my own part in my life. Well, because I've been pushing <laughs> this accountability, needless to say, my views have dropped, okay? Well, again, that's human nature. We want to project to protect ourselves, right? Um, but what I really want to get out there is this message. If we can shift the blame and we're accountable, right, for our own parts, this is when we can see the importance of relationships in our lives. This is when we can heal and transform. Just because we don't agree with another person's ideas or their actions or choices doesn't mean that they are wrong. Doesn't mean that they're not on their right path. It doesn't mean they're not where they need to be. What I'm trying to push forward is that we need to redirect the energy, not resist it. That's our egos and that's why we have a tough time with it and that's why we go through this dark night of the soul and this death of the ego that's really, really tough on us. And that's where we can feel, you know, hurt and betrayed. But if you think about, you know, how draining it is and how tired you become, um, you know, going through this betrayal, feeling betrayed and feeling hurt, the amount of energy that we expel with pain is draining beyond belief. We don't want to get up out of bed. We don't want to get dressed up. We don't want to look nice. So if you can imagine channeling all that in a good way, where we'd be, that's my point here I'm trying to make.